Hello everybody and welcome to this retro review where today we'll be looking at Games Workshop's White Dwarf issue 105. This is a long time ago. Um, as you can see it was £1.50 and that is a bargain. Anyway on the cover here we have this old uh, piece of Eldar Harlequin artwork and just look how intricate the lozenges are on here. I don't fancy painting those. Anyway, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Um, we have the Fantasy Miniatures hardback book of Golden Demon Award winners 1988. I would quite like to see this book. Does anybody have it? This piece here is fantastic. The colours on here are marvellous. Um, September 1988 by the way if you were going to ask when it was it's a piece here called street fighter looking forward to seeing that okay so we have the land raider this is back in the day the original rogue trader land raider um these awesome old alternative color schemes necromunda spiders there the lucky sevens imperial guard regiment Red Scorpions, uh, Dark Angels, Blood Angels, and who are these guys? The Raptors. Um, we know who they are nowadays. This old art is fantastic. Some rules here, fire arcs and uh, points value, 744 and a half points. Because we've got to have halves, haven't we? On to some fantastic artwork here young artists i always remember this piece here i had it on a book um this is a lovely piece of blood angels artwork here they all have nice white shoulder pads uh nosferatu looking gentlemen old space wolves and of course dark future when is dark future coming back i want to know i also want it back now here it is Dark Future, and this is available September 1988 at a cost of £19.99. If we look down here, we see the Land Raiders. Uh, a Land Raider costs £12.99 for one Land Raider, and one Rhino is £9.99. So remember these prices. Uh, original Blood Bowl over there, £19.99, and the Harlequins from the front cover, £9.99. Inside we have Critical Mass, I don't know what that is. Uh, Realm of Chaos, Slaves to Darkness. A lot of people talk about these old books. Here we, has a, we, has, we have a passenger here from Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven Poem. This is a fantastic piece of artwork here. This gentleman looks wonderful. This old blood letter here, I think it's a blood letter. It's incredible, this guy Looks like he's not sure if he should be there or not. More marvellous pieces of artwork here. Do we have the old Nurgle symbol? No. Look at the garishness of these colours. How fantastic is that? These are available soon. So this must be pre-chaos. Over here we have Rocks Away. Not sure what that is. I think it's a, just a goblin stone thrower rule set. We have the Grand Golden Demon Grand Final. Uh, the speed painting competition was a typically messy affair, with the contestants vying for the claim to have produced the best miniature in just 15 minutes. Does this still happen? I want to know why. There's some actual knights fighting there. Marvellous. Old school role playing games. Uh, Shiloh, Star Command, and uh, Questron 2 standouts there for me. <laughs> Look at this old Space Wolf with his very thin sword there, but thicker at the bottom. Very interesting. This is the Codex Imperialis. Uh, this month's extract from the great book known as the Index Extartes deals with the official order of battle. So we have all sorts of 
Space Marine uh, Army lists here. This is convenient because Space Marines are now being relaunched. Uh, some old Space Marine artwork here. Check out the old kill markings all over them. We have the Lieutenant Commander who's stabbing this orc in the neck. Captains, look at this old artwork. The Iron Hands, Blood Angels. This is brilliant. Chaplains, look at this old I thought he had an ice cream on his uh, shoulder pad for a minute. Now I realize it's a torch. But yeah, fantastic. An old librarian logo there. It looks like, oh, that's the librarian logo. Okay, the original librarian logo was a fiery ice cream. Remember that? Tech Marines had like an animal hand. The medics had a very similar to their current logo. There he is. Love Hill written on there. With a nice lovely ribbed leg over here. And here we have um, some old Chaos miniatures. I think these are brilliant. This one is great. This one is really good. I think that's fantastic. I want one of these. If anyone has one of these, please let me know. Uh, beast man over here, a bloodthirster, don't know if you can see that, the old greater demon of Slanesh. Which is better, this one or the current one? Uh, tactical squads, there he is, another space wolf with his laser sword. An awesome piece of uh, artwork here depicting the iron hands. Look at the old heavy bolter. Looks like it's made of cardboard boxes there. Uh, weapons and equipment, standards, off-table support, very interesting. And look at these space wolves in this marvellous unorthodox camouflage pattern. These space marines really do look the part. Um, I'd like to see some more old school. Oh, I see, they're standing on a rocky outcrop looking through at these orcs. About to do the old ambush there. Notice we have the Vincent Black Shadow bike, and of course, the Gravitac vehicle. Uh, back to some goblin parts, there's the stone thrower, that's a lovely looking kit. And some Skaven war machines, though I don't see many machines. Over here we begin to get into the Harlequin section. And there they are. No, that's not the Harlequins. This is some Dark Future minis. And they look fantastic. I'm just trying to uh, lighten that upper touch there for you. These are the old cars that I think used to stick weapons on. These are all the models. Looks like an all-op ganger there. A pink cowboy. Is that the uh, fabled Todd Piece cowboy that people tell me about? Here are the Harlequins, there's the dance, there's the solitaire and the mime and the battle. Are these Harlequin units? I don't know. And there they are. Fantastic, look at these old Harlequins. Which ones do I, oh, he does look like Morgan Ra, doesn't he? This gentleman down here. Um, this is probably the one I saw the most. Don't know why. And uh, I think they look incredible. What have we got here? Some more Harlequins in combat. Special rules. We have some Harlequins versus a Dreadnought here. And a lovely piece of art. Am I missing a page? Or am I just missing half a piece of artwork? No, page 44, 45, not missing a page. But this is fantastic. It looks like the Elder out, Elder. The Elder out in their onesies. Here we go, Games Workshop. Where is our Harlequin themed onesie? I would wear that. If you'd wear that, please let me know as well. Don't know who that is. He looks like uh, the guy Hoggle, I think it is, from uh, the movie Labyrinth. So we've moved away from the Space Marines and we're now into a little story of sorts, I think, an RPG. Uh, Chaos on the Pitch. This is a Blood Bowl uh, piece. So we just have 
human mutations. So this looks basically about the chaos teams. Uh, these old pieces of artwork really are fantastic. I cannot stress how brilliant these are. Goblins rats, of course, whatever that means. There he is, rats. Fantastic. And there's a chaos team there in all their glory. Some old adverts for game shops. I think they're incredible. Morg and Throg, I think this guy, is still doing the rounds. Oh, look at these colours. These are fantastic. That looks like the alien from Aliens to me. But I like all these. The Dark Elves in their blue and dark blue scheme look fantastic. But these, what is that? I can't barely read that. The Chaotic Humans, my favourite. Okay, some more games adverts. Thrud the Barbarian, a uh, comic piece there, if you're into that. <gasps> oh my word. Have a look at these heavy metals of the dark future vehicles. These are incredible. Look at these, this, that looks like Rhino from uh, Mask. If anyone remembers the uh, TV cartoon Mask, then you get an extra 10 internet cookies. But this is what I need to see back. These old vehicles, fantastic. Mad Max the game is basically what this was. And that's it. <laughs> Uh, more game adverts. Ooh, some Chaos Marines. These do look very snazzy. I don't think I've ever seen Chaos Renegade Slanish Riders before. But these are so garish, so wonderful. He looks like he's painted an early version of a metallic metal. But there was always a weird looking one with no legs. He doesn't seem to be on here. But if I see him, I'll let you know. Street Fighter was obviously something to do with Dark, dark Future. Pedestrians and Small Arms. Marvellous, this guy looks like, a little bit like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but not. You could have a minigun, an assault rifle. Uh, a Saber Houseman Dominator assault rifle. Looks like Saber Houseman was the uh, in-universe weapons manufacturer. And there it is, Dark Future. It looks a bit like a cardboard Scalectrix track there. Um, I think you've all seen that piece of artwork. It came with a couple of cards and 19,000 tokens by the look of things. And that is it. I really want to see that again. So at the end of this video, I'm going to say Games Workshop, I would like Dark Future back. But anyway, Thank you all very much for watching and we'll see you all very soon for another retro review. Goodbye.